My name is Jonathan Messer and um, I'm the director of Luma 3D Interactive Limited. We've created a, a, a wonderful um, 3D application which is uh, using the technology in a new way. We've come from an architectural background and uh, we've got a lot of experience doing 3D models and dealing with lots of 3D data. Two years ago we recognised that um, there was a potential for the application of our knowledge to present 3D objects to the public outside architecture um, and start to create virtual tours. It opens up new possibilities for public engagement with 3D data of, of all types. And I spoke to Jonathan in more detail about how he might use the app and asked him if he could use the app to come inside the Playfair library and maybe that people would be walking through the quad and would use their app and look at a, one of the poster boards like we have around the quad and it would get them inside the Playfair with their app and that there would then be linkages to some of the history of some of the people who you see around the Playfair library. The university's got a big estate, um, so there's obviously lots more architecture we can do and historic things, but equally there's lots of things that could be done with the collections, for example. My next suggestion was, is there any way we could look under the ground so that people could stand in the quad and we could look and see what had happened through history. Could we look at what the archaeologists had found and where they found it? And the old buildings that were there before, Kirkfield's church, um, the um, places where Darnley was murdered, the old library, the chemistry buildings where um, Black worked. So everything, it just seemed that it would be fantastic. And I think that Jonathan was probably a little bit shocked because he has an architectural background, not an archaeology and background. But I think the project's coming together fantastically well. Our intention is to have an app out um, for on the App Store for graduation time at the end of June. And um, that will be a publicly available app which the public will be able to uh, in, uh, tour, tour the quad, roll back in history and see some of the archaeological um, history of the space. The learning opportunities are several fold. Some will be for students studying particular disciplines and we could use it in our massive open online courses, the MOOCs, where we're going to students around the world with different disciplines. And if we could give them a taste of actually what it's physically like at the university, as well as using this kind of technology to teach, the potential in the future is absolutely enormous.